Welcome to another Management Minute. Today we're going to take a look at template variables, how to create them, how to use them, and we're going to start with a very simple example, and then we'll move on to show a complete configuration of an HA pair using only template variables. But let's start with creating a simple interface on a single uh, PAVM. So here we have Panorama, it's managing a single PAVM firewall. We can see that the firewall already has an interface that's pushed from Panorama, it's a tap interface, but we want to add a layer 3 interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Network tab. I'm going to change the template dropdown to select the template that defines the network uh, settings for that device. And you can see here is where we have that Ethernet 1.1. It's defined as a TAP interface. I want to add an Ethernet 1.2. So I'm going to select Ethernet 1.2 from the Interface Name dropdown. I'm going to change the interface type to Layer 3 going to select the virtual router that's already defined in the template and the security zone that we have for our finance users. Now I'm going to jump over to the IPv4 tab and this is where template variables come into play. So I'm going to click add and this is where you would normally type in an IP address or maybe an address object name. In this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to select new variable. I'm going to give it a name that makes sense to me. Um, Ethernet 1 underscore 2 so that I'll, I'll be able to remember what it is when I'm just looking at it at a list um, when it comes time to provide values later. So now we have in the template an Ethernet 1 2 defined. Layer 3 is the interface type, but we have an IP address that's variableized. We can't actually push this to the firewall yet because we have no value for that variable assigned or associated with the firewall. So the first thing I'm going to do once I make that change is I'm going to go ahead and commit to Panorama so that Panorama can become aware of that variable. This is still a candidate configuration. We need to have it in running configuration before we can uh, see this new variable in the variable table for the template stack. So now I want to be able to push this interface down to the firewall, but in order to do that, I need to provide a value for that variable. My PAVM is in this lab stack here, and we can see the lab stack contains that network template that I was working on earlier. The primary way for providing values for variables is going to be this import export uh, CSV, variable CSV function that we have down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and export that. open up the CSV. And this is a very simple table. Um, this is a very simple example, so we can see that I have a single variable, but this is the format of this table. The first column will contain the variable name, the second column will contain the variable type, and then the third column will contain, um, or third and subsequent columns will each be dedicated to a device within that template stack. And we'll take a look at how that scales out uh, in a few minutes when we take a look at our, our HA pair. But in this case, I want to provide a specific IP address for PAVM uh, for the variable Ethernet 1 underscore 2. So I'm going to provide a pretty standard example here, 1.1 slash 24. We're just going to save it. And we come back to Panorama, we just simply re-import that same CSV back into Panorama. We'll get this message saying we successfully imported the CSV for that template stack. We say OK. We commit again to Panorama. Now we can see if we view this device key value table for this stack, again it's not terribly exciting because we have a single device and a single variable, but we can see it's the same sort of format as the, the CSV that we exported, with the key name in the first column and the, the device names in the subsequent columns. So this is what our PAVM looks, at, looks like before the push. Now that we have everything ready on Panorama, we can go ahead and push to the device. We get our job listing on Panorama. The commit all is active. 
config's been sent to the device. So at this point, I'm just going to switch over so we can monitor it from here. We see the commit all job on the device itself. It's already at 99%. And now it's complete. So just refresh this page real quick, and we can see that we now have an Ethernet 1.2. It's a layer 3 type interface with the appropriate IP address. So now that we've seen a simple example of creating an interface with a variableized IP address, let's take a look at more at a more complete configuration. So here we're on Panorama, and we have a template stack that manages two devices, and this template stack is comprised of four different templates that configure different things, uh, including HA settings, network settings, general device settings, and LSVPN settings. So in this case, if I take a look at the template stack as a whole, I can come over here to the network tab. I can select the template stack. And I can see here um, all of the interfaces that I have configured. I can see on the device tab, for example, my high availability settings, which is another good example of a place where devices need unique IP addresses, even in an active passive configuration, things like group ID or even HA IP address. So what this looks like, if you remember the Excel spreadsheet that we had for the single uh, variable, single device example, this is the same spreadsheet for this HA pair. And you can see because they're active passive, a lot of the values are the same on each device, interface IPs, for example, but some of the values do differ. Device priority, for example is going to, going to be different. Um, HA peer IP address is going to be different. These devices are in sync right now. This is VM1 and VM2. So if we pop over to the devices themselves real quick, we can see that all of the interface configuration has been pushed, the appropriate IP addresses. There's nothing super exciting here. Because they're active passes, these interface IPs are going to be the same. But if we take a look at HA settings for each of these devices, we can see that they're pushed, they've been pushed the appropriate uh, values for that device. So for example, on VM1, my device priority is five. And as we can see, VM2 has been pushed to device priority of 10.